Hi, it's John here from Flux Digital Media Limited. I'm going to show you how to copy protect a PDF on a USB stick using Protect USB. I have a PDF here in this content folder. It's a simple, simple brochure. And um, first thing we do is we take uh, the content disk preparer which essentially will place the PDF into an encrypted container and uh, for placing on the USB stick. So we have here the source folder for the content. Uh, it's spotted the PDF within the folder. And this particular project we're going to link to the presence of the original USB stick. It is possible to create an installer which asks for serialized activation codes which then uh, power a online DRM activation exchange which authorizes the content on the particular device. Um, the content once it's prepared is going to be put into a um, into a folder which I need to create. So I just create a folder um, I'm going to call it USB content and then I will select that folder um, and then I need to create a an ID which um, which is used to around which is used as the basis for the for the DRM so I'll, I'll, I'll create a project so I'll call this a test Test USB protection. Version one for the demo video. So I've created that now. Test USB protection. And I'm going to run the content disk preparer. So that's done. The content's been prepared, and so it's now asking do we want to copy it over to the USB stick. Um, so it's now launching Protect USB. The system's working to work a little hard just to launch the, the software. So to actually copy the content onto the USB stick, we're selecting the content that's in this folder we created using the project ID that uh, we also created. We're going to create a, a production uh, copy. It's going to go onto that standard USB drive and I've currently already got 10 burn purchases on my system so they will be de decremented when I, each time I create a copy protected USB. So I press start And what it's doing is it's copying the, the data that we created earlier and it's also generating a license file specifically for that USB stick and adding it to the USB. Okay, so that was done. So now if we go to the USB stick you'll see that we've added a, um, a start XE for a PC. There's also a, a window, um, a Mac app um, installed on the USB stick. So we double click on the start XE. It validates the, um, the project and the PDF is available um, from the USB stick. Now, if I copy the USB stick to my desktop which you can see there and I now eject eject the stick you 
you'll see that if I try and try and run the co content, it won't uh, won't run because the original USB stick isn't present. So there you have it. That's Protect USB. It is possible to create images that cover uh, ranges of serial numbers. So if you have uh, large quantities of USB sticks to protect then it is possible to create a single image which can be um, can be copied to uh, a large number of drives um, at the factory so um, let me know what you think cheers bye